Hi, I'm Martin Cross. I'm asking strangers to fund me to put on my show This is the Shape of the Universe at the Edinburgh Festival in 2019. I'm very much hoping people will enjoy the show, be entertained by it, and I'll have a successful fringe. And on the strength of that, I'll be able to go on tour and take my show initially countrywide, ultimately worldwide. I'm asking strangers, not friends and family, to fund me to put on this show. And I'm hoping you will. I'm hoping you will fund me. Why would you do that? Well, probably the first and foremost reason is so that you can come and see the show. Uh, you may not be in Edinburgh in 2019, however, funding me to have a successful run means that you can come and see me when I'm on tour. So that's one reason why a stranger would fund me. Why am I only asking strangers? Why am I not asking friends and family? Well, two very simple, small reasons. The first is because I, I've got to generate publicity for the show and I'm not going to generate that by asking friends and family. So the other reason is that friends and family very probably would fund me, but that's the problem. They'd be funding me. It's not helpful to the project to have me personally be able to do what I want to do. So therefore, if I don't get funding from strangers, that sends me the message that what I'm doing, I'm either not doing right or it isn't the right thing to do. Either way, I've got to take that on the chin. I was going to say there's no choice. That's n it's, it's not that there's no choice, it's that it's very clear why this is, this is the obvious choice. Good. Now we've established that. What are the other reasons why you would, why a stranger would, and I very much, I'd be very grateful if you were the stranger. What are the other reasons why a stranger might fund me putting on this show? Well, you'll have the opportunity to come to the show and while you're at the show, your questions will be answered. That doesn't mean you'll come away knowing what the shape of the universe is. You'll know what I think it is, but that's not the same as you knowing what it is. If you know what the shape of the universe is, you can tell somebody else. You're not going to be able to do that after you've seen my show, because you're not going to be able to fill in all the questions that they might ask. So one of the things that this putting on this show will do is it will entertain you, it will inform you, and that's all. It's not going to make you a physicist. It hasn't made me a physicist. So that's, I think, a sensible thing to to acknowledge right at the start. The other thing is, although, although I'm not a physicist, and although I say I'm not a phys physicist, I should say, um, I, I haven't even got a physics A level, for goodness sake. I, my physics, my physics uh, academic career stopped at what used to be called O levels, GCSE level. And make no mistake, that's the level at which I'm talking. I'm not, you're not being asked to understand or know anything beyond straight GCSE level physics. That's all you need to understand what I'm, what I'm going to be telling you, all of it. Obviously, if you're interested in the subject, that's a lot better. That you're, the more interested you are in the subject, the more you're going to enjoy um, the the outcome, as well as it being a, a as well as it being a, a, a an entertainment, um, it also has a serious purpose, because the other reason for putting on a show is there isn't anybody 
anybody in the world that I can go to and say, I think I know the shape of the universe. Can you just check this and tell me if I'm right? Nobody. I, Stephen Hawking, uh, who's the fella from DREAM who does all the science programs. You know who I mean. Uh, I've acknowledged elsewhere that the cleverest person I have known it, throughout, throughout my adult life was my uncle Frank. Um, time marches on and he is now an old man so that mantle has to pass to somebody else as I've been thinking it might have already done. So there isn't anybody that I can go to to say can you check this and in fact the, uh, the to my way of thinking arguably arguably the best possible way to do this is to do what I'm doing which is to put on a talk and then at the end of the talk say am I wrong if I'm wrong tell me I'll give you don't just tell me if I'm wrong tell us tell me and the audience that's here with me tonight tell us that I'm wrong if I am the audience gets its money back, I walk away, there are no more shows. I am humiliated, I would be. But <clears throat> it would be just me. It's the fact that that doesn't happen and doesn't happen and doesn't happen time and time and time again that eventually demonstrates that, oh yes, there is no, there is no counter argument there is no alternative theory. This is complete and necessary. The old philosophical principle. The argument needs to be, the, the explanation needs to be necessary and complete. There isn't anybody else who can check this and there, there also isn't anybody else who has this level of understanding specifically I don't think I haven't come across any source or <clears throat> or reference to a source that indicates that somebody else knows what I know so to all intents and purposes the person who is going to get up in the morning and go to work and do a do a do a job in a call centre with the prospect of doing that for the next 18, 20 months until Edinburgh 2019 is the person who knows the shape of the universe. That's, that's absolutely how it is and how it is is how it must need, it, it, how it must have to be. And Maybe, maybe after Edinburgh that will remain the same. We don't know. It depends. Are people going to be interested? Are people going to come? Are they going to be entertained? Are they going to go away? And, um, and more people come. That's what we don't know. And I need help to, to, to complete a campaign that started a long, long time ago and is right at the right at the end this is the last potentially the last step that i need to make on my own and if you can help me if you're willing to help me that would be terrific and i'll be indebted thanks